When we arrived in Sandefjord Bay in the southern Orkney Islands, we didn't really know what to expect. There are not many operators that go there as it is a site that is difficult to access because of the currents that make the southern ocean very rough. We were not disappointed. There was a lot of activity on the banks of the bay. The bay is home to a fairly large colony of chinstrap penguins. We had a very interesting zodiac excursion. Photography was quite arduous because of the bouncing caused by the waves and the low light due to the overcast skies. The cycle of life was in full display, and I was a witness. Leopard seals and giant petrels were the predators on the scene, and the penguins, the prey. I had the opportunity to observe the behavior of three chinstrap penguins having to decide who was going to jump first in the sea. It is always risky for the first one to dive in. Sometimes they can be swept in unexpectedly by a wave. This time, the lucky chinstrap penguin that went in inadvertently made it without attracting the attention of the leopard seal that was swimming in the area. His lucky day. When we left the islands, we again crossed an area where fin whales were feeding. This time there were even more whales. A fishing trawler was operating in the area. We had two full days at sea before reaching land in South Georgia. Those two days sailing the Scotia Sea gave us time to perform our biosafety inspection. South Georgia being an environmentally protected area, we had to ensure that the external clothing and gear that we would bring on land were free of non-endemic seeds that could contaminate the island. We had to do the same thing in Antarctica. This is good news because this was not standard operating procedure when I first came in 2009. As we were sailing the Scotia Sea, all of a sudden the ship stopped. It's not like there are traffic lights out there. And when you're in one of the most remote parts of the world, it can only mean that something out of the ordinary is happening. Southern right whales. From what I understand from experts on the ship, Seeing southern right whales at sea is a rare event. In fact, we had a scientist on the ship that studies whales for a living, and she said that what we saw that day was one of the most exciting days she had ever spent on the seas. I guess that means something. There were three whales that were entertaining themselves at the bow of the ship. As this is a rare sighting, she wasn't sure what their behavior was about. So it appeared that we won the lottery that morning. <laughs> 